I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. We're going to practice decision making by creating a mock Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll start as East, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll be a regular player, so we'll get 13 tiles. And then we'll be East again with 14 tiles. I'm also going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, pair of flowers, pair of red dragons, east and south. We have one four in dots, four seven in bams, two six eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples. With these two pair and the tiles we have, we could maybe play like numbers with fours and dragons. This would be the third hand under like numbers. Pair of flowers, red dragons. We may be able to do consecutive run single pair pung with a number of tiles and the red dragons. So let's keep the six and the eight and pass those. I would break up the wins one at a time and probably, I try to keep the twos and not pass them this year or really this decade because of the year category. And this year the even category has a lot of hands. So if I don't have to, I'll keep the two for a bit. So that's what I would make my first pass with and focus here. We do have some two, four, six, eight potential, two, four, six, eight dragon, no flowers with that hand. So we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. Is there an offsuit? The offsuit, let's see, offsuit dragon hand does not use flowers. So that takes out the two Two, two, four, six, eight category. So, all right, let's get going. We're gonna pass those. We got another four. North one. So I would probably pass these three. Stick with the plan. Let's see, hold on. One thing we could do is hold the four, because then we could do four, five, six, and let this eight go. We have all the fours. If we have to, we can break up the dragons to go for like numbers. Even still, with the like number hand, we have options, or an option. We don't know which number yet, or which suit yet we can use. So let's keep the four and let go of the eight. Seven, nine, so there's a seven, and we let the eight go. Okay, so here we could pass these three. Maybe the eight will come back. Okay. So now we have south, seven, one, that looks familiar. We could do like numbers with sevens, but this is the wrong dragon for a crack dot set. We would need the green dragon. 
So I think I would let that seven dot go. We got a white dragon, seven, nine. So here, maybe what we should do is keep the two. We could do two, three, four, two, three, four. Because I really don't think we should pass seven, nine in one suit. And let's see, hmm. I think we're gonna have to do it anyway because I really don't like passing white dragons. It's a dual tile. You can use it for a year hand or a dragon. So let's let the two go. Three west six. So here we're kind of in this similar situation. We could do consecutive run in BAMs or a consecutive run in cracks. We have two tiles to pass, including a white dragon. Here we have options. Either way here, we need a five. Either way here, we need a five or an eight. So let's let the six go and risk passing the white dragon. We finally got a keeper, the four, maybe the six, four, six. We can discard that seven, let the three go now, because here what we would need is the five crack. That's a pair gap, that's pretty weak. Otherwise, we can switch to oh, our pair is the wrong suit there. Well, let's stick with the plan and pass these for optional cross. If we got the eight back, eight, nine, four, six, eight. There's a one, six, eight, dragon, four, six, eight, dragon. The two, four, six, eight, dragon hand in one suit uses a pair of two cracks. That's a pair gap, so I probably wouldn't focus there. I think what I would do here is discard those, play four, five, six, dragon. We have a gap, a pair gap. We need a five crack badly. I would hold these for a potential switch to like numbers with fours. That was a challenge. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We have a pair of flowers, a red dragon, one, two, three, five, seven in dots, one, two, four in bams, five, six in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would choose tiles that can be used with flowers. Maybe the red dragon, but probably not. I probably would discard that. We do have a run, one, two, three. We have a one, two. We have a five, six for consecutive run. One through four we have. When you have mixed suits and you're choosing to play the consecutive run category, it's good to pick four numbers in a range around the strength of your hand. Here we could do one, two, three, four, 
We could do three, four, five, six. We could do four, five, six, seven. I think one through five. Let's keep one through five. Another thing I was thinking is that five is the middle number. It's the most flexible because you can go up or down the sequence. Whereas here, one, two, three, you're at the edge. So you can't go down from one. So then I was thinking, okay, maybe we could do three, four, five, six instead of one, two, three, four. But we have one, two, one, two. Got to keep in mind that we have flowers. What about the concealed hand, maybe? One, two, three, one, two, three. That doesn't use flowers. Never mind. We could do one, two, three flowers. Okay, so we need to let something go. One, two, three, five. We have a seven over there. One, two, four. Let's let the four go. That's kind of right in the middle of the five, four, five, three, four, five, six, though. Maybe what we need to do here is let the one go and focus on more towards the middle of the sequence. Okay, I think that's enough troubleshooting. Let's discard these. We've got a four. Now we have one through five. We did get a nine, here's a two, two, five, six there. Here's flowers, so we still don't have a multiple, so we need to figure out what we can do with the flowers. There, there's a consecutive run hand that uses flowers. This is the third hand down on the left. There's also the dragon hand, if we can get a white dragon. So maybe what we should do here is hold the five, six, and then break the bams up a little bit. Let's pass these three. Flower, five dot, there's our first multiple. So I would reassess right now with that. So we have three flowers here. Whatever we do, we're gonna use these flowers. There is a hand in consecutive run that uses two suits and six flowers. Here's our multiple. And we have a, f a six crack. We could do five, six with six flowers. That's one option. We could do, let's see, with these flowers, we could maybe do like numbers with fives. So let's keep that. With these flowers, we might have to discard one to do one, three, five in mixed suits. We don't have a one bam, so we have a one three there. So I don't think I would do that. I think I would just focus here. Like numbers with fives or five six with flowers. So let's, let's break those up. Do one of each suit. Okay, so here we have a four. So we could do four, five instead of five, six. So we can keep that. Flowers, fives. Let's, let's pass the three dot. Five crack, another multiple. Oh, two, two multiples. We have four, five, six now. If we had a red dragon, we could play the consecutive run hand with dragons. We have tiles we can pass, so we can keep all that. Let's pass those. No keepers. I would pay that forward. A flower. Wow. Okay, we have to make a choice now. Four flowers. I would probably play like numbers with fives or five, six in mixed suits. Five, six, six flowers. We have three tiles to pass. No keepers. I would discard all those. This was a pretty good Charleston. We have three discards and options. 
really we have five discards, but we can maybe use the pair we're not needing for joker bait. So I'd say that was a good Charleston. We could pung here, pung here. Then we just need to decide between like numbers with fives or five, six, two suits. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do in the comment section below. We have a couple of jokers, a north, red, and green dragon. One, five, seven, eight in dots, two, six, eight, or two, six, nine in cracks with a pair of sixes, and we have an eight bam. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on, and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start with the sixes. The north probably can go. The dragons we may be able to use if we get maybe like numbers. The most efficient way to build around a single multiple is with consecutive run. We could maybe do five, six, seven, eight of some kind. Or maybe six, seven, eight, nine and we have tiles we can pass. It's a little risky with a one, two, but at least they're in two suits. We got a five and a seven. So there's five, six, seven. We do have a three, three, six, nine, but it's pretty chunky, only one, three. I would let that go. So we have five, six, seven, matching dragon here. Maybe the nine can go in that eight. Still focused on five, six, seven. We actually have a hand in here. Five, six, seven, eight, but it's very weak with only one multiple. We're gonna pass these three. No keepers, six. We got little numbers. I would let those go and we need to start whittling here. Five, six, seven, dragon, no flowers, but we have jokers. Six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, five dot. We have two, three. I think what I would do here is let the eight go. Two, three, five. That's a little bit risky. Let's do this. We got a flower. There's five crack, we have all the fives. Three crack. Here we could play five, six, seven dragon. With the flower here, maybe I would keep that. Six, five, six, seven dragon. Six. Well, we don't need the two, we don't need the three. Let's see, the 369 hand with the matching dragon does use flowers, so maybe we can keep that. Let's pass those three. We got a nine and a five. Two multiples, five, six, seven dragon. Five, six, seven, dragon, no gaps. That's where I would focus. We do have tiles to pass here, so let's pass these. Maybe we could do three, six, nine, but we'd have to throw away a pair of fives. Flower, we have a white dragon now. We're on last right. I would not pass like numbers. I would pass two, one blind. No keepers. 
we did get a six, but there's no gaps for that hand. And here we can actually pass three for the optional cross. No keepers. So we have four discards and a hand. I would say that was a really good Charleston. If you have four discards or less after the Charleston, I would say you have a pretty good chance of winning. Here, we could Kong the Flowers, Pung either the seven or the red. We're one away from being set. So I would say that was a very good Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write what you, what you would have done in the comment section below. The Charleston is half the game, and if you make the right decisions at the right time, you can set yourself up for success. So practice decision making with Charleston modeling at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.